What's up, y'all? And this is Mo993. And how are y'all doing today? And, and today I just want to talk about us men and women controlling, controlling ourselves and not allowing this money to get to us. See if we have our morals and our integrity and our principles involved, the money will come. We got to find our skills that pay the bills and the money will come. We don't have to sacrifice ourselves for it and be a slave to the quote-unquote American dollar. All the things that we need will come to us. Money is little things. Love, spreading unconditional love is a big thing. Even though I got this shirt, show me bands. Shout out to my boy, um, Woken Fendi, Duquan Brown. But if we work on our unconditional love and raising our vibration high, we will obtain these little things such as money and all of that. We will obtain that as long as we're spreading good karma. Once we practice great unconditional love and good karma, all that will come to us. It'll come to us like flies sticking to us. You know what I'm saying? Like that. But so, what I'm saying to you is y'all don't have to chase anything. I know, Deontay, I know you're 16 and you want to get money, but I'm telling you, you don't have to be on the corner. Um, Shante, um, I know you 15, girl, and you want to flaunt your stuff, you know what I'm saying? But you don't have to do that. You don't have to sell your body out for attention. You do not have to do that. You don't have to do that for money. Uh, you know what I'm saying? You can find other ways. Uh, you know, there's plenty skills out here. There's plenty skills out here. Put, put your higher vibration and meditation to use and find things you like to do and, and, and perfect that. And then once you perfect that, then that's when the money will come to you. You know, money is like a small reward. Money is sort of necessary, but it shouldn't be the dire need. Money should not be the dire need. Your integrity, meaning what you stand for, should, should be at the front and center. Your principles, things you've been taught in the home, things you eternally value, not the outer exterior, because all these things have a, be, have a beginning and an ending. All these things have a beginning and an ending. But your, uncondi your unconditional love has no ending or beginning. It's eternal. You could take that gift with you in this life and in the next and in the next and in the next life. Eternal gifts you could take with you wherever you may go. Where, who, whoever you may be reincarnated into, you could take those eternal gifts with you. Physical things you cannot take with you into the next life, into the next existence. You can't take it with you. So why are we feeling for those outward things? You know what I'm saying? We got to get our minds in order. We got to stop wasting our melanin away. We got to love who we are. Love and approve of yourself. If you can't look at yourself in the mirror, if you think you ugly, you got some eternal issues going on inside of here. You got some eternal issues going on. If you can't look at yourself and say, darn, I'm sexy, I'm beautiful, I'm handsome. Look at my skin. Look at the skin I'm in. If you can't say that, then you need to work on yourself. You need to work on yourself. It's too much damaged people. And partially, we are all damaged. We're, we're all shedding those 
those lower vibrations every day, whether we know it or not, we're shedding every day. Every single day we wake up in this existence because you know we we exist in multiple dimensions at once. We exist in the physical plane. We exist in the astral plane. We exist in virtual reality. We exist in our thoughts. You know what I'm saying? We, we just exist. We are infinite, spiritual, immaterial beings living in this playing field. We have to know that and we got to keep it real with ourselves. You got know what I'm saying? Because I want to use this talking platform to talk. Then after I'm done talking, I want to go outside, meet people. Then after I meet people, I want to build something. I want to build something. I don't know what it is, but I want to build something. I want to gain a skill. I'm using this platform to talk to y'all to build my self-confidence up. Because I'm weak in some areas. Me, yes, I'm weak in some areas. As you tell, as you can tell, I have a physical limitation. I st 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 stutter. You know what I'm saying? I st st stutter, but I don't let that st 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 stop me. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I don't let that stop me. But um, the other thing I just want to tell y'all is just stand in your truths. Know who y'all are. Don't sell you. Don't sell yourself short for anybody. Men, if women can't accept y'all for y'all, then then those women aren't for y'all. For instance, right? Pe pe people say it's harder because you know I got a handicap. It's harder, you know, I can't walk, I can't move as as fast as anyone else. I can't move, I can't talk. Well, guess what? Not as special women, just like as special men out there for us physically limited beings. See, when, when the laws of nature and the ancestors use people for its purpose to help us out because that that's all mates really are our helpers even down to our parents even down to our friends even down heck to our closest strangers we are all here to help each other even when we want to have those babies they're still helpers so let us not get so hooked on the physical condition because I know people out there that have physical conditions that can, that can get a quote-unquote normal girlfriend, that can get a quote-unquote normal man or vice versa. So don't get so hooked on this exterior temple of what you see. Don't get hooked on to what you see. Get inside of yourself. Know, know your eternal self because once you know your eternal self and you raise your energy and you raise your vibration and you stop lusting and, and you start to raise up from all those lower nature and the lower nature of things, People will, higher vibration, high vibrational people will, will attract to you. Even the ones on the lower vi vibration, we can't single them out because they, lower vibrational beings are attracted to the light. Some of, most of them are attracted to the light. It's like a magnet. You stick, right? So, I'm training myself not to, not to be so stuck on this physical condition. 
I know I have a physical condition. That's my physical reality. But it is not my immaterial, eternal reality. Because, like I just got finished telling y'all, we exist in multiple dimensions at once. And when we're in other dimensions, when I'm in other dimensions, I cannot take this physical condition with me. It only exists here. You know what I'm saying? So for all y'all people, just know who y'all are. Stand on your morals and values. Keep those front and center. Don't ever sell them out for, for money because money is short-lived. It comes and goes. The American dollar is really nothing. It holds no real power, no, no real weight. You can't really pass it down. You know, if, if you're really looking to get something, get something that's valuable, like resources, like try to invest in gold, silver, right? Oil, you know what I'm saying? Invest in things that have real value. You know what I'm saying? I respect the American dollar. I respect it. But it's not my life. And I'm tired of us and, and I'm tired of us and our people. We have turned ourselves into commodities. Because every time I see a woman say, If you don't got the money, don't talk to me. If your money too short, you can't be talking to me. That's the worst thing we can say as a people to ourselves. That is the worst thing. It just irks my nerves. Why do we place a value on ourselves? If, if, if we should be placing any type of value on ourselves, let it be our character. Let it be our morals. Let it be our ethnic code, if we even got one. You know what I'm saying? I'm not giving up. I'm not giving up, and I'm not selling myself to the lower energy. Although I do fall. Although I do topple. Boom, boom, boom. Like a controlled demolition. But I still rise. You know what I'm saying? And we got to do the same thing. I'm just so tired of women putting a monetary value on us men. We shouldn't be measured by how much money we have. We should not be measured by how much money we have. We should be measured for our skills. What can we bring to the table as men? Are we good with our word? Is our word our bond? Do we have unconditional love, right? Do we have unconditional love? What, what can we do? What can we do to improve her psyche? And this is for the women too, vice versa. Y'all, y'all women. And I know a lot of us men consider y'all as commodities too. Money tags. We only look at the we only look at the physical sexual part of y'all. Is y'all is y'all banana pudding good? Is it sweet? We shouldn't we shouldn't value that. Although although that is y'all heaven. But we shouldn't value that. We need to go back and think, how is her mind? Is she a strong woman? Does she care for herself? How, how can she help me grow mentally? 
mentally how can how how can we create power together how can we combine our econ um, um how can we combine our love so it can transform into unity and to unconditional love how can we raise these children together as a powerhouse unit we should not measure each other by money tags it's not right it's the it's dismissive we are really tokening ourselves out for 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 the man made dollar and and that's not cool that's not cool for, for, for real and I know I'm speaking to myself too but I'm sharing this with y'all so y'all could hear it too you know what I'm saying we just gotta move a little bit different and clean up our consciousness our consciousness is really seared see we're operating in in our subconscious instead of our good conscious you know all this stuff lies to the eye man that's real you know, and we gotta clean that up we gotta do better we can do better you are love we are love and we are worth it we just gotta define our worth and, and curve and curve any fogginess you know what i'm saying but grace peace and love y'all i love all of y'all stay positive grace peace and love uh, the creator god is with y'all the ancestors is with y'all uh, the spirit guides is with y'all you know what i'm saying grace peace and love i love all of y'all if you have a physical limitation or not i hope y'all learned something from this love each other um if you're going to cohabitate, ha having sexual exchanges, make sure it's for the right reasons and make sure it's with the right person and not, uh, I'm an effed up conscious. Okay? And for those of y'all that, that, that have y'all virginity still and y'all are still pure like I am, don't, don't give it up. Do not give it up. I know it's hard. I know it's hard. And it's a daily fight because you want to have it. I know you just want to have it. You you just want to spread your eggs all over the world, don't you? Don't you, Nathan? Don't you, Samantha? You want to spread them all over. But guess what? You are still pure. You are still untouched. You still clean. You don't got no stresses of the world. You don't got you don't got a, a thousand million bazillion, if that makes sense, exes. Uh, you know what I'm saying? You're still a virgin, and you're still untampered with. You're a fresh tampon still. I'm a fresh tampon. So, be glad you're a virgin. Em embrace your virgin mary embrace your virgin mary and love and approve of who y'all are grace peace and love y'all i love all of y'all grace peace and love y'all this is my mama mama mona 93 aka dishon